Hey folks, Mr. Hartzler here, and in this video I wanted to show you how to do part 3 of activity 3.1.2. And that starts off with the stuff that's above, right here. Um, I have them all listed out. We'll do three things. The first one being turn the right motor on for 5 seconds at half speed and then stop it. Then we're going to turn our left motor in reverse. I actually don't remember which way reverse is, but in reverse at 3 fourths speed for 2.5 seconds and then we'll stop it. Then we're going to turn both motors on at full speed spinning in the same direction for 7 and a quarter seconds and then we'll stop everything. So let's get into that code. Over on our left uh, I usually put a little bit of space between my curly braces so I've you know kind of a clean slate there. First thing we have to do is start motor and we have to declare which one we need to do our right motor and it's at half speed which is 63.5 end it with a semicolon and we're going to wait five seconds and then we're going to stop motor and if that's the right one and then we're going to have to go down a little lower I kind of put breaks between each of my things and if you want you can even do two backslashes and that means you're typing in a comment and none of this gets read by the computers just for you so this is kinda step two let me scroll a little bit here All right. now we're gonna type in our next one and we're gonna turn our left motor on so we have to start motor oh not capital and left motor motor there we go and we're doing our left motor and we are doing three-fourths speed which is 95.25 then I need to wait 2.5 seconds I don't know why I keep hitting that for then we stop the motor so stop motor you actually have to spell everything correctly on this and left motor and then we're gonna do step 3 and step three is to start both motors at full speed in the same direction. So we're going to start motor. Uh, let's start, uh, let's do right motor first just for funsies. It doesn't really matter, but let's do it. And full speed, so that's 127. And I'm also going to start motor. And I'm going to do my left motor at the same, 127. And I have to wait and this time 7.25 miss the 7.25 seconds and then I need to stop motor right and if you notice there are times where it stop it wants to uh, kind of suggest something for me like right now it's suggesting left motor you can kind of see it just below my cursor if I hit tab it will accept that and uh, that can be kind of helpful sometimes so I start my left, start my right motor at half speed. I'm actually going to comment off to the side. So I'm going to do two backslashes, and I'm going to say, I'm starting right motor at half speed. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to tab over a little bit. And this one, I am waiting five seconds while motor is spinning. Typing things in like this, that, that's the, the pseudocode, or well, sorry, actually, this is the comments. Pseudocode typically goes above it, and it's kind of a general outline of all of the things that are happening. But all of this is very important to write this off to the side, especially when you get to more complicated code. Um, so the simple stuff we do right now, like just starting motors, not too bad. But when we step it up to, you know, it's doing certain things when the potentiometer reaches a certain value, like if this hits... Uh, maybe 70 then the right motor sorry left motor starts turning on that's where it becomes important to have some pseudocode so that everybody else looking at it can tell what you mean alright let's make sure everything's okay here and uh, we do that by compiling program no errors showed up down here below it'll show up below this red uh, red words here and then we download to robot And it's going to be loud when this starts, so I'll uh, I'll try and turn the mic off when that happens. But once we start, you should see it go through all of the code that we told it to. All 
All right, well, you saw it there. It started off with the correct one, switched, and uh, then it did both of them. And the timing on that was all correct as well. So we are good to go. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, click that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, stay tuned if you want to see more of uh, the videos for 3.1.2. I should put a link uh, probably somewhere over, I don't know, maybe over there. Uh, you can click on that and go right to the next activity. Thanks, folks, for watching. I appreciate it.